Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of things that I've picked up over the last several weeks and a few things that I've ordered and we're gonna open them up together. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. I have no idea what's in some of these boxes, so we're just gonna go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. I'm super excited about this one. It's a wooden water wheel and I've been super excited to add some fun things to my sandbox. Last year I had a little makeover done to it and it's kind of a new popular area and so I plan on just changing things up every so often so that there's different materials inside the sandbox and when I saw this I knew this was going to be a hit with the kids. So the description here says, this wonderful timber resource is so open-ended with multiple uses. The children get so much joy as they pour water into the funnel and see the wheel delightfully spin around. Not only can it be used with water, but also dry, fine sand works amazing too. The funnel at the top can be removed so the children can experiment with pouring loose grains in to investigate what makes the wheel spin. Wheels can be placed in small streams between two sticks and it keeps spinning as the water rushes by. This is gonna be a really fun summer favorite. Pretty sure I know what this one is. They've come out with these tough trays. So it has a great wooden stand and it has a large surface. That way we can play with boats or I can change it up into fishing activities or put shells in there. We could also bath our outdoor babies. Most of the water tables have things built inside and then I find you can't really use the area the way you want to. And so I really love this new invention and it's exactly what I was looking for. I'm guessing that this is probably the stand for the tough tray. So yes, it's the stand and this is what it looks like. And this is the color of wood. I like that it also looks aesthetically nice in the yard, but I'll try to insert a picture of it all put together. Last weekend, we went to a baby shower and near the baby shower, there's a beautiful children's store. I think I went last year and I might have taken you along on that trip. My granddaughter is having her first birthday in a couple weeks and so I picked up a couple of cute outfits. So I picked out this adorable little dress. My family has a Dutch heritage and so I love that it has tulips on it. And so I got this one. She has a lot of hair and it's dark and I thought this would be super cute. So I got this one and it has the little bloomers to go with it. And the most outrageous thing was this little strawberry purse. She's having a strawberry themed first birthday party and I found this adorable little purse. It's adjustable so she'll be able to use it for years to come. But it especially looks so cute with this little green dress. Also at that store, I saw this book, ABC of Nature. I love bringing nature into my program. And so I just thought this was a sweet little book. I love a great alphabet book. And I love that it's all different things that you see in nature. This is a great way to introduce the children to letters in a fun, exciting way. A few weeks ago, we were just in a hardware store and we were picking up some paint and I found this adorable little bird feeder. I love the brightness of the sunflower and I thought it would be adorable in our yard. So I picked this up. I've been looking for some new cups for my daycare for quite a while. So I ended up choosing the Elk and Friends cups. If you aren't familiar with them, you can get them in stainless steel or glass and they have lots of different colors in them. I only have five children in my program, but a lot of the sets have four in it. And so I decided to go with the eight pack. That way, depending on if I have boys or girls in my program, I have more choice. I opted for the glass. And so they have a sippy cup spout, and then they also have a straw, or you can also use them without a lid. And so I thought they were super sweet. It comes with a little straw cleaner. It also comes with a matching lid. So this is great if you're traveling and you don't want any spills, you can screw the lids on and you won't have any leaks. 
You could also use them for snacks. I do really love the versatility in these cups and I also love that they're glass. These cups are a little bit of an investment, but I don't think it's something that you're gonna to have to replace super often, so I definitely think it's worthwhile. They have really cute designs on them, and I all around just think they're a really beautiful cup. And if you wanna use the straw, it just works like this. I love the fun colors. I think they're a really great design, and I do love that they're glass. My husband and I took a little trip to Plattsburgh a few weeks ago, and I found this great picnic basket at Target. It's made by Hearth and Hand and it was a great price. It was $29. It has a nice handle on it. And then when we were shopping at Winners a couple weeks ago, we found this great little cooler at Winners. So we'll be all set for picnics this summer. The last thing I got was this wooden waterway set. If you've worked with children, you know that they love playing with water. I love that this is another open-ended toy, and I love that the children are gonna have lots of opportunities to experiment with the science behind water flow. I often get asked how I budget for new learning materials in my classroom. I always put some money away each week for my income tax time, and then once I'm finished settling up for the year after paying my income tax, I use that money to reinvest into my program. So I usually overestimate how much I'm going to have to pay. So that way I have some money to reinvest into my program. That also helps me pay lower income tax the following year because anything that I'm putting into my program, I'm allowed to claim and I can use that as an expense against my business. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.